Hey guys, uh, sorry about all the unboxings, but uh, this one I just kind of had to show because it wasn't something I actually even ordered. It was just sent to me out of the kindness of this person's heart. Uh, it is from a friend of mine, Carrie. He's out in Palm Beach, uh, Florida, and he is actually um, he actually has a small channel. It's called Snails and Garden. Um, not entirely sure what is in here, but um, this is actually the second box I've gotten from him. The first one I kind of failed to um, show, so I wanted to make sure I opened this one and shared it with everybody. So this is. Uh, well, let me tell you about Kerry. So he's out there in the trenches. He's actually, um, I think pretty much his job is to go out there and pick fruit, climb trees and all that. So he is a real enthusiast of tropical fruit. So uh, let's see what we got here. This is, I believe, he's gonna send some uh, Suriname cherries and or seedlings. Take a look. Oh yeah. So these are yeah, these are nice Suriname cherry seedlings that I'm gonna grow out and actually maybe use for rootstock. So that's really nice of them to send. Because I you know I've been collecting a lot of Suriname cherry. I've been trying to get a lot of those propagated, so that is so nice. And not exactly sure what kind of mango this is but he has a bunch of um sources for mangoes that um they're just seed planted and they actually taste delicious they're um not really known varieties but if you kind of watch his channel you'll see that a lot of them are just delicious here's another one right here you know maybe not the best as far as how it looks but i'm sure these are going to be delicious and we got some sugar apple seeds it looks like i want to grow some of these out yeah so these are i think he separated them to different varieties so i have to actually kind of get with them see which ones are which which ones are like his favorite so these are different ones and this may be more sarnam cherry seedlings so yeah um yeah i gotta get these all potted up uh, get them growing and then maybe select a good one or even just uh, graft them up because I got a number of different varieties now that I want to propagate but yeah this is a really short video I wanted to show you guys that it was so generous of him to send all this but uh yeah thanks Carrie and uh everybody thanks for watching and um we'll keep it real short this time I'll talk to you guys later see ya garden friends welcome back I want to do a uh video just kind of updating the plants in my yard it's i've got to preface preface this video with uh please don't judge because my yard looks like a train wreck right now because i've been kind of traveling haven't been able to really organize anything plus it's been raining like crazy <clears throat> and uh, the grass looks it's basically like a jungle back here but i wanted to show you a few things before they kind of stop uh, before I missed showing them, this is my um, my blue jabo, which <clears throat> has grown pretty uh, significant to a significant size. It's probably oh I don't know how tall it is, maybe seven feet, something like that. But it's about the same in width too. So it was in full bloom while it was raining. So here's some blooms. <clears throat> Um, I did take a couple of pictures. Maybe I'll see if I can't show or add the pictures of the blooms. But pretty much all the branches have bloom had blooms on them. Hopefully, we get a decent fruit set. <clears throat> you can barely kind of see where they are. Were oh, here's some right here that are just kind of still trying to hold on. What's interesting about the blue jabo? is that it fruits on like these the thinnest of wood like i could potentially graft this little tiny branch and it would bloom and then actually maybe that's what i should do <laughs> right so here's more blooms over here i can get to them and <clears throat> let me go to some other trees so over here this is my matt snow black sapote 
got some blooms on it. And then we've got, um, here's my big nay. Big nay's uh, holding some fruit here. And we'll walk over. Let's see what to show you. <clears throat> this is my um, Kesar mango. I mean, I got it kind of protected because it's, something's going to want to eat it. This is the Kesar. And then we'll turn around. And this is um, a Pickering, if I can get to it. Pickering's got two fruits here. I probably need to go ahead and pick those. There's two Pickering. And my little tomatoes. Yeah, they, they're trying. So... What else we got going on? This is my um, my rainforest plum that is really getting ready to push a bunch of blooms out. It did have an earlier bloom set like one fruit over here, but now it's really getting ready to go crazy with blooms. <clears throat> this is my um, my Potomba, which had a lot of fruit on it, but we got all this storm and rain and look at the, and what happened was that I guess it kind of like, damages the skin on the fruit and then um they kind of rot real fast they're super tender here's another one should probably go ahead and get these seeds but i think i got some protected down here yeah there's a couple here i picked a really big one last night um but let's see what else we got going on oh lord um, not sure what else is over here. We'll take a walk to the other side. <clears throat> oh, right over here, my uh, peanut butter, my peanut butter tree is uh, getting ready to bloom. Most people are way ahead of me on this, but uh, well, at least I'm getting some blooms on this. And uh, we'll walk over. Oh, I've been getting a lot of blooms on this. Um, this is the uh, Sororia Araza Raka Boy. This is supposed to be a, uh, I guess, a less tart version. And it was, I just put it up in this like two and a half gallon. But, you know, it's been flowering uh, even when it was in that one gallon. Um, mosquitoes are real bad today because of the because of all the rain. Here is the uh, variegated guava. I mean, the the rain it's starting to make the leaves look kind of yucky. But I mean, there are fruit on here. Yeah, there's some fruit here. And I wanted to show you my Ariana white jabo. <clears throat> It is um, getting ready to uh, bloom like crazy. There's one fruit right there, but you know, it's hard to see, but there are, there's blooms forming all around here. And I'm pretty proud of this tree. It's a, uh, you know, Kind of been with me a good long time. <clears throat> One of my earliest jabos along with the blue, the vexator. And here's the uh, Kai Apple. It has, uh, well, looks like some ants are trying to farm right there, but a couple of fruit here. Oh, there's another one right here. And um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this tree right here. So, uh, last thing I wanted to show you on this kind of brief video is um, my, um, I think it's a Redlands White Sapote. It did have a lot of fruit on it. And uh, there's like one left. These are not the prettiest fruit. I probably ate around three or, three or four of them already. Not the prettiest fruit, not the best tasting fruit, but I did graft over, over it with Vernon. It's supposed to be a little bit better tasting. Um, Looks like another fruit fell down here. Yeah, I need to go ahead and get that seed and plant it. But yeah, guys, um, 
Yeah, so I just wanted to show you these trees, you know, with the fruit, some of them with the fruit that uh, before they all kind of fell off and some of the blooms. I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to really do proper videos recently other than the ones of the tours. But I guess that's it for now. We'll um, check back in again next time. Take care.